Hey there, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into. Automation testing with Selenium. Whether you're a seasoned QA engineer or just starting your journey, Selenium is a name that you've probably heard of. Stick around as we cover everything that you need to know, from the basics to creating test cases. But before we jump right in, let's take a quick look at what we'll be covering today. So at first, I'll be taking a look at what automation testing is. Take a dive back to the fundamentals. Then I'll be showing why and how Automating the whole system is better, followed by why would you choose Selenium for it, and also see a comparison between Selenium and other available tools. Then I'll be showing the Selenium suite with all the tools it holds. And then finally, start off with a tutorial of creating test cases. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out any updates. And if you're looking for a Selenium certification training course, do check the description box below. That would take you to one of our top rated Edureka courses. Alright, let's jump right in. Let's kick things off by understanding about automation testing. Automation testing, as the name suggests, involves using specialized software to execute tests. This is crucial because testing a web application or software is a rarely one-time process. It involves multiple iterations and steps. Testers play a pivotal role in this process by creating test cases and automating the tests based on application's requirements. Another important aspect of testing is the need to automate the process of all the available browsers and operating systems. Compatibility is a key in the world of testing. You need to test your application on various browsers and operating systems. This is where automation testing tools like Selenium shine. One of the major purposes of automating any task and to define the proper pipelines and methods is always done to optimize the whole process, improving testing efficiency, accuracy, and speed of performance, which is always better than working in manual tasks. In a nutshell, automation testing involves using predefined platform for automation, writing test cases, and ensuring compatibility with different browsers and operating systems. Now that we have covered the basics of automation testing, let's discuss why manual testing can be challenging. The first disadvantage that comes to mind with respect to manual testing is the need of a tester for all the tasks which it brings its own issues, having the need and involvement of a person to execute those tasks. It is also a time-consuming task as it involves the process of optimizing pipelines, bug reporting, and parallel testing and other important steps. Since manual testing is dependent on human factors, errors, and misbugs, it's an always issue that is common apart from the factor of abilities of the tester itself. Manual testing also does not support batch testing, which eventually increases the time of completion of the testing process. Now that we see the problems, let's see how Selenium can be used to solve them all together. Selenium is preferred as it has a good speed of testing, which can also be user-defined, and being an automated process, it also provides precise results, which also comes with the advantage of having less people in the testing process. Selenium also proves to be cost-effective for its open source suite of tools and a range of features left to be used for the process. Due to all these advantages, your software or web application also comes to the market at the earliest, giving you a competitive edge over the existing competitors. Selenium Grid, an integral part of Selenium testing, is useful to perform batch testing, which also reduces the time to most extent. As we saw Selenium as an open source platform, it makes the testing server freely available to run your tests and also provide other set of tools that we'll be taking a look in the next chapters. Selenium also comes as a handy for record and playback testing, which is a low-code method or technique that uses the Selenium IDE to automate tests without writing any scripts. Some other names used for this method are record and replay testing or test recording. I'll be showing how to perform this in the upcoming tutorial, which will help you understand the use case in detail. You can get started with Selenium with multiple languages too, which comes in handy to expand your testing needs and demographics to a wider area of applications. Being developed on JavaScript comes as added advantage. Selenium as a whole comes with a lot of tools too, which creates a complete environment for testing. Testing process often demands to be done in multiple platform too, which Selenium fulfills easily with Selenium Grid. Now that we have an idea of what Selenium is and how it can be utilized, let's see some similar tools and platforms available. At first, we have Puppeteer. Puppeteer is a node library that provides a high-level API to control headless Chrome over the DevOps protocol. Also known as Headless Chrome API, it is useful for automating the Chrome browser to run web tests. The prominent features supported by Puppeteer are screenshot testing, performance testing, web scraping, and easy automation. WebDriver.io offers a third-party integrations that make testing and debugging a lot more efficient. It's easy to write test scripts and robust architecture that is based on RESTful services, which makes it a good choice for automation testing of applications on native iOS devices. Cucumber is a testing tool that supports behavioral-driven development. It offers a way to write test cases that anybody can understand regardless of their technical knowledge. In BDD, users first write test scenarios or acceptance tests that describes the behavior of the system from the customer's perspective for review and sign-off by the product owners. Cucumber Framework uses Ruby programming language, 
It is also offered as open source and can be utilized for your development needs. Playwright is a Node.js library that lets you script and also help you automate browsers using the same API like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. This crossover browser application is pretty useful and fast. It also lets you access the RESTful API of an application to help you perform API testing. And now that we are aware of the other available tools like Selenium, which would help you automate your tests, let's understand the Selenium suite to get an overview of all the features that you are being offered. Selenium used to offer four different verticals in its suite, the Selenium ID, Selenium RC, Selenium WebDriver, and Selenium Grid. But eventually, Selenium merged WebDriver and Selenium RC to create Selenium 2.0. Selenium WebDriver, also sometimes referred to as Selenium 2.0, and is by far the most important component of Selenium suite. Selenium WebDriver provides a programming interface to create and execute test cases. Test scripts are written in order to identify web elements on web pages, and other desired actions are performed on those elements. Selenium 3 was also introduced, which was updated to support for new browser versions, and also added Gecko Driver to replace the old Firefox browser to provide more performance and stability. Eventually, Selenium 4 has also been added, which updates the Docker support and better scalability on Kubernetes. Easier to manage and configure with improved GUI, IPv6 addresses, and HTTPS protocol support, and TOML configurations as well. Now let's begin with our tutorial on how to build a test case with Selenium ID, and we'll be seeing the process from installation to the execution. We'll be doing this in two steps, so let's jump right into step one. In step one, I have navigated to the official Selenium website and searched for Selenium ID extension. I'll be moving ahead and will add this extension to my Chrome browser. Now let's move to step two and start with creating our test cases. Okay, so now in step two, I've opened my Chrome browser and I'll be going to the ID that I just installed. I'll click on Selenium ID extension and we see the ID has opened with four options available. The first option enables us to create a new project and record a new test case. Or we can open an existing project if we've pre-recorded it. We also have an option of creating on just a new project or close the Selenium ID. So I'll be creating a new project and name my project as test1. Now it is asking me for a base URL, so I'll be using Amazon's URL as my test scenario. I have started recording and we see Amazon web page is opened. So I'll be going back here and I'll add a product to my cart. I'll click on this one and we see all the details available. We'll perform a few scrolls. And I can add both of these together in my cart. Okay, so now that it is added to my cart, I'll check my cart from here. I see these many items have been added to my cart. And now that I'm satisfied with creating my test cases that are stored as commands in my IDE, I can go back to my IDE and stop the recording. It is asking me for a test name, so I'll be giving it his name as version 1. Alright, so we see multiple commands have been recorded, and just to check if our test case is fine, we can run all those tests. Now Selenium has prepared it, and we see every single action that we performed is being okay. imitated here. Now I'm not doing anything, so this is something happening automatically. And we see all my test cases have run successfully. We see one runs and zero failures. If you like this video, do check out the Selenium certification training course on Adereka. It would help you get a complete knowledge on everything related to Selenium. Do give a like to this video and drop in your comments. Happy learning! I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!